When installing a heat pump in a cold climate, you want to make sure you use the manufacturer's frost rated flare fittings. Don't use that soft brass that ships on those line sets from factories outside the country. They're going to cause you problems. Welcome back. I'm Chris Morin with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week we're talking about frost rated flare fittings when you're installing, let's say, a ductless mini split. Every once in a while, I actually come across some old knowledge that's been commonplace with the old timers that they just forget to pass down. And one of these things is refrigeration and frost rated flare nuts. Not too long ago, I was talking to a technician that needed to make a union on a shorter line set than he had in the field in order to make it longer on a residential installation. And I reminded him, hey, when you make this union, make sure the union and the flare fittings are frost rated or they're gonna crack on you. Of course, he gave me that blank stare, and I said, oh no. You see, there's several types of refrigeration flare nuts, and most people now know that you need to have a 45 degree angle to use it with 410A systems. There are a lot of oil companies out there that are used to using the long style 30 degree flare nuts, and they know the difference. But when you put it into a technician's hands that's never seen it, they may install the wrong one. So let's play this out. Let's say they use the wrong style flare nut. Uh, non-frost rated or the one with the wrong angle. Let's say they install the one with the wrong angle, they're gonna know pretty quick that there's a leak in the system because when that flare tries to connect and compress that copper onto the flare fitting where they connect it, it's probably gonna crack the wrong angle copper, right? So usually that shows up day one before you even charge the system. Unfortunately, you might get a system completely vacuumed out and charged correctly during the summertime and never have a problem with a flare fitting that isn't frustrated until winter. This is because during a defrost cycle, you could start to accumulate some condensation underneath that flare fitting that isn't probably gonna be a problem until a long off cycle. If the system cycles off during freezing temperatures, that moisture can actually freeze behind the flare nut and crack that soft brass very easily. To combat this, almost every manufacturer ships their systems with the shorter forged type flare nuts. These shorter flare nuts leave little to no room for any condensation to build up, and some of the larger ones actually have holes in the back end of it, so that way moisture can actually drain out of it. Also, just a heads up, most installation manuals say that you should seal the Armaflex all the way to the flare nut to avoid any condensation building up there and drawing back into the flare fittings. Never mind the possibility of creating leaks in that line set. Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog where hopefully we provided you a little bit of knowledge where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.